Greetings everybody and welcome to example 6 in our series on cardinal numbers and set applications. Once again in this problem we are given information from a survey where we have um, cities with soccer teams, football teams, and basketball teams. We're given information about the cardinality of each of those, and then we're asked to determine kind of unknown cardinalities. And so the idea behind this one, just like the idea behind the last one, is that we do everything with Venn diagrams. And so what we have, we've got three sets, S, F, and K. So that tells us that we're going to have three circles that we're going to label. So we've got our three circles, and then we've got our universal set on the outside. So our three circles, we've got a set that have cities that have soccer teams, a set of cities that have football teams, and we have a set of cities that have basketball teams. And so then we're given information about those cardinalities. Just like the cardinalities before, we want to find the most restrictive or the ones that actually correspond to the smallest possible set, and just maybe one region if we can do that. And just like before, what we see is the intersection of all three sets. So the intersection of all three sets is has cardinality of size 6. And that intersection corresponds to the overlap of all three circles, and that tells us that our one and only region here has a total of six people in it, or six cities in it. Now we start to move out from there. So what we are told is that um, if we look at the overlap of soccer and football, so we know that N, that S intersect F, so the region of that overlap, has a total of eight cities in it. Well, we've accounted for six in that overlap as well. So the remaining two have to be in this region. So for that, we have two people. Now we kind of move out again a little bit further and see what we have for our region of S overlapping with K. So S overlapping with K gives us two regions. So we have the six that we were talking about here, and then we've got an unknown number here. Well, we've got a total of 10. We've accounted for six, which means that we have four left over in that particular region. And so finally, kind of bringing this back a little bit more, we know that the number of teams or the number of cities that we have in S is going to be 24. Well, of those 24, we have actually accounted for, in this region, two of them, six of them, and four of them. So we have kind of the unknown here. Well, the unknown and then the two that we know, the six we know, and the four we know which then gives us an equation, 24 is equal to our question mark, plus the 12 that we've accounted for. Well, subtracting 12 on each side tells us that we have a remainder of 12 in our unknown region. And so this gives us 12 in that region. If we look at our region... Well, now, if we look at the cardinality here of this kind of rather complicated set, complicated-looking set, well, we have S intersect K union with S intersect F union with F intersect K. Well, that gives us 15 total cities. Now, which regions does that actually correspond to? Well... If we look at S union K, or S intersect K, that's where S and K overlap. That's our region here, 4 and 6. If we look at S, union, S intersect F, so where S and F overlap, well, that's our region 6 and our region 2. And then if we look at F intersect K, where F and K overlap, that's our region 6 and our unknown region that we have here as, whoops, not there, 
We have our unknown region here. And so with that, what we have is that this is going to correspond to our unknown region plus 2 plus 6 plus 4 that we already know. And so we have 15 is equal to our question mark, 8. Uh, 6 and 2 is 8, plus 4 gives us 12. So subtracting 12, again from each side, we see that we have a total of 3 in our unknown region. And so it gives us 3 there. And now we're finally able to figure out what the remaining regions are for F and K. So for F, we are given that we have a total of 25 in that region. And so for F, this constitutes the 2 that we know, the 6 that we know, the 3 that we know, and then the unknown in our region here. And so what that gives us is 25 is equal to 6 and 2 is 8, and 3 gives us 11. So now subtracting 11 on each side tells us that we are left with 14 in that outside region. And so we have 14. Now finally we can figure out what the number is in our outside region for k. So what we have for our region K has 28. And of those reads of those 28, we've accounted for four of them, six of them, and three of them, and then our unknown region out here. So that's going to give us 28 is equal to four and six is 10, plus three gives us 13, plus our unknown amount. Subtracting 13 on both sides gives us a total of 15 left in our outside region. And so in this question mark, we have 15 remaining. And so with that, we're able to figure out how many are actually in our final outside the region of any of these circles. So kind of here in this setup, we don't know how many that we have out here in this region, but we know that we have a total of 60. So we have 60 teams, and we have accounted for 12, 2, and 14 of them. Then we've also accounted for 4, 6, and 3 of them. And finally down on the bottom, we've accounted for 15 of them, and then the remainder that we have in the outside. And so what this in turn gives us, so this gives us a total of 60 is equal to 56 that we've accounted for, and then the unknown that we haven't. And so subtracting 56 on both sides, this gives us a remainder of four that we don't know, and those four must then live in the outside region from those cities where we have no soccer teams, no football teams, and no basketball teams. So what we're asked for as part of the problem is find the number of these cities that have either a soccer or football team, but not both. So soccer or football, but not both. And so what that gives us then is, which regions does that actually correspond to? Well, for soccer and football, but not both. So where we have soccer only, so soccer and not football is going to be this region. So we don't have the intersection. So that's going to give us 12 plus that four that we have. So 12 of those plus the four. But then also we want football, but not soccer. And so football, but not soccer, gives us this region. So football, but not soccer, is going to correspond to this set. And so that will give us values 
of 14 and 3. So how many have soccer or football, but not both? If we add up all of those values, 12 and 4 gives us 16, plus 14 gives us 30, and so we have a total of 33 teams that have soccer or football, but not both. So I hope that this has been informative. I hope that you've understood this. And for any other possible subset in any of these regions, we can figure out what the cardinality is just based on what regions those correspond to. So I hope you've enjoyed this, and I will see you guys in the next homework problem. Take care.